All right, so I just want to quickly explain how to make potassium nitrite. And um, I've looked online and there's these very complicated protocols and Wikipedia makes it sound impossible to make it on your own. But as always, since Wikipedia is controlled by bots that are controlled by corporations, um, so the, the way to make sodium nitrite or you know potassium nitrite in my case is to simply melt sodium or potassium nitrate. You just melt it. Okay, it's that simple. So um, what I did is I put, you know, maybe almost an ounce of um, potassium nitrate in a, uh, you know, a one liter glass beaker and I put it on my hot plate. My hot plate is very hot. It's about a thousand watt hot plate. You need a hot plate that uh, will get up to at least 400 Celsius, preferably 500 Celsius, um, because your your reaction is going to happen at around 300 to 370 Celsius. So you need something that's a quite a bit higher than that, so that you know you can get your beaker up that hot. But yeah, like I said, I think I have like a chloramar. Gosh, I can't remember the name of my hot plate, but it's like a thousand watt. It's an old, old one. Um, I'll, 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 I'll put it in the description what type of hot plate I am using. But anyway, um, you want to have an infrared thermometer. Your hot plate should get up to like 450 Celsius, and uh, and you'll start to see your potassium or sodium nitrate, di uh, you know, just melting. You should see it start to melt. And then what's going to happen is it's going to look quite dark, and you might be like, oh crap, I'm burning it, but you're not. So it's going to look quite dark, and then after a little while, once it's all melted, it'll start to foam, you know, like a light foam, like a little layer of foam bubbles on the top. And so that's good. That, that means that your, the extra oxygen in the nitrate is coming off and forming the nitrite, so you're, you have NO2 instead of NO3, so that's a good sign. So... After a while, once your temperature gets up, once your temperature keeps climbing, once it get, gets up to like 470, or sorry, 370 C, then your reaction's done. And for sodium, it's going to be less, but I was using potassium, so sodium might be like 350, it's done or something. So anyway, when it's done, you'll just notice that the bubbles start to go away and your solution clears up. Once your solution's totally crystal clear, and the bubbles are gone, you're done. So, you know, within a half hour, you can have so sodium or potassium nitrite without any crazy chemicals or anything else. You just need a good hot plate. You might be able to use a Bunsen burner or, you know, an alcohol lamp or something. I haven't done it. Just make sure you're using, uh, you know, glassware that can withstand, you know, direct flame. So, you know, like definitely a round bottom flask or a silicate. So. Anyway, that's it. So, you know, rewind, rewatch if you miss some of that. So, that's all. Thanks for watching. I am the Nature Hacker. Do work.